There is nothing like a journey to lift the spirit, beautiful views, days of rest and the discovery of new places. But, perhaps you are among those who find this type of holiday boring, and instead prefer some nice jolt of adrenaline, that makes your hair stand on end. What makes a road an adventure? This is exactly what we are going to show you today. From narrow dirt roads, to unpredictable middle-of-the-street bandit attacks, these are 10 of the most dangerous roads you should never drive on. The Passage du Gros in France is a 4 km road that is swallowed twice a day by the high tide and may be one of the strangest roads you'll ever drive on. The passage can only be traveled for 3 hours a day, while the remaining 21 hours it is submerged by water. This is due to the two strong tides that affect the whole area. Ignoring the tide warnings can be extremely dangerous. However, if you surpass it by bicycle and remain halfway through the route, it is possible to leave the bike to its fate and take refuge on one of the many emergency towers that are found along the entire itinerary. The Passage du Gore has been plagued by numerous accidents over the years due to the slippery road and the sudden appearance of water. The road has been the subject of numerous sporting events, including the Tour de France. You can drive across, but it's more fun to walk, just make sure you time it well. Carved into the Taihang Mountains, Guoliang Tunnel is China's most famous tunnel road. The villagers worked five years to build it, to better accommodate tourists. Impervious, but accessible, the road is only 1.2 kilometers long. The view is wonderful, but the paths have been carved into the mountains, creating very narrow and dangerous roads. Accidents are very frequent, due to its many unexpected turns and descents, especially during the rainy season. Also nicknamed the road that admits no mistakes, this passage has recorded 400 accidents and 92 deaths since 1992. The BR116 in Brazil, also known as Highway of Death. It's among the most spectacular of these exciting roads and it's so scenic because it passes near fantastic high mountain ranges. The road runs along the Brazilian coast for about 2,600 miles and has a very high concentration of trucks. On the other hand, the weather is unpredictable and the ground is not very consistent. In itself, the road is not dangerous, but it is those who occupy it that arouse some perplexity. Responsible for thousands of deaths every year, on this road you may encounter several gangs, corrupt cops and a high crime rate, particularly in the section near San Paulo. Perhaps here is the case to take the plane. Devil's Nose Railway The Devil's Nose is considered the most dangerous train route in Ecuador, and it is almost exclusively for the use of tourists. Its disturbing name derives from popular beliefs due to the death of many workers involved in the construction, the noises coming from the mountain due to explosions. The train climbs up to over 800 meters zigzagging, advancing and retreating to insert new sections of tracks. This is the only way to go up a slope so narrow and curvy. The tribute paid to the Devil's Nose, in terms of human lives, was decidedly heavy, about 2,000 men died during this titanic undertaking. While it is no longer possible to climb onto the roof of carriages, like travelers once upon a time, the views looking down into the valleys are just as thrilling and steep as before, while the landscape offers us impressive views. The Fairy Meadows Road, traced along the slopes of one of the highest mountains in the world, is everything but a fairy meadow. Ranked as one of the deadliest highways in the world, the road is a spectacular 10-mile high mountain trail located in Pakistan. Completely unpaved and without guardrails, it takes one false move to experience a very long drop. At a certain point the route becomes so narrow that you have to cover the last stretch on foot or by bicycle. This road is only open during the summer months, because it can get even more dangerous if it gets wet. The path was built hundreds of years ago by villagers, and hasn't been renovated or repaired since then, although it has been lightly maintained. Estimated as the second deadliest road on the planet, the calculated deaths are between 200 and 300 people per year. 
Tianmen Shan Big Gate is located in China. The interesting thing about this route is that it is 7 miles long, and has 99 curves overlooking the mountains to frighten even the most experienced drivers. This road serves as a link to reach the top of the mountain, so that you can visit Heaven's Gate, which with its 999 steps, leads up to an extraordinary rock formation. Zojila, one of the world's most dangerous mountain roads in the world, is part of Indian National Highway 1, and crosses the Himalayas reaching a height of 2.2 miles. Most of the Himalayan roads are extremely hazardous but this one is a killer. Dangerously narrow and often muddy or icy, it is littered with crashed cars and overturned buses. The Zojila is especially dangerous for the livestock that is encountered along the 5.6 miles route. Nestled between the Kashmir and Dras basins, it is characterized by very narrow sections and without any protection from ravines and overhangs. The passage is closed for half the year, due to heavy winter snowfall, and it takes two full months to clear the roads ahead of the reopening in spring. In addition, it is advisable not to stay too long in the highest part of the pass, as there is the possibility of running out of oxygen. A route on the slopes of an active volcano, the Cotopaxi Volcano Road causes anxiety just by hearing its name. But what drivers may not be aware of is that the volcano is still active. This 25-mile dirt road, which leads to the entrance to the Cotopaxi National Park located in Ecuador, is subject to fatal floods, even during small storms. And if we add here the bumpy, unpaved road surface full of insidious holes, the journey can become a real nightmare. If you don't want to attend an exploding volcano while driving, it's better to avoid the passage at all. The Luxol Hergada Road in Egypt is the stretch that connects the town of Luxor to Hergada, a well-known seaside resort on the Red Sea. The road is 188 mile long and has been more or less completely renovated. The route became known after the massacre of 1997 where 58 people, mostly tourists, were shot to death by six gunmen. Unlike many other threatening roads, this one is not considered dangerous because of natural or climatic reasons, but by the lack of safety when traveling at night. Here, in fact, when it is dark, People travel with their lights off for fear of attacks by bandits and terrorists who shoot at drivers. Driving this way has caused many head-on collisions and fatal accidents. Invisibility might save you from one threat, but there's a good chance it will deliver you into the hands of another. Consider buying some of those night vision goggles if you plan to drive this road at night. The James Dalton Highway, also called Alaska Route 11, is considered to be one of the most isolated dangerous roads on Earth. Its danger is given above all by the remote position in which it is located. Here for hundreds of miles you will not find anything, only unspoiled nature. It is considered the most isolated road in the US as only three villages can be encountered along the way. This 414 miles long road connects Fairbanks to the oil fields to the north, and traffic is mostly made up of huge trucks. Granting them the right of way is one of the rules of the road, the other is to carry supplies and know how and when to use them. Would you drive along these dangerous roads? Let us know by commenting down below, 